Right, so, before I head over to London, I want to make sure that I have a full tank of petrol because the fuel prices are crazy even up here, so I assume in London. But they're absolutely insane. And that's already cost me over 30 quid, so... <laughs> Better to do it now, I say. Better to do it now. So, hello everybody, how are you? I hope you're all safe, I hope you are all well. You join me on the A5 going through Hockcliffe. I'm uh, currently just trying to make my merry little way to the M1 southbound straight down to London uh, where I will be going to Hackney to join the uh, Save London Motorcycling Hackney Borough Council parking charges protest. Uh, I'll explain a little bit about that later, um, but yeah, off to London for the day. Haven't been in a little while, so always nice, and uh, yeah, I'm a bit a bit early. Protest doesn't start till midday, but I've decided to set off a little bit earlier because I plan to meet with, uh, with New Biker. Absolutely love that chap, haven't seen him in, well, far, far, far too long, so it'd be really good to catch up with him absolutely buzzing for it so we're on our way to the bike shed i was hoping those lights would go green like a second earlier as if that would be like a good sort of transition bit you know like i'm going to the bike shed cut but it never happened can you tell i'm in london can you tell i'm in london oh well if you couldn't you could now I don't think I'm going to fit through that. I'll tell you what, New Biker has uh, recently been doing some uh, commentary, sort of some live commentary as he rides, like commute videos basically. Um, and it's all just about, you know, safety awareness and hazard perception and all that kind of thing. I honestly don't know how he does it because I, uh, right now I can bear, I, the only reason I can talk to you is because I'm stopped. The minute I'm moving, I'm like, oh no, I don't. You, you just feel a little bit more uneasy simply because of the amount of cars and just lorries but everything that's going on here mental fair play to you new ah <laughs> my bike is on fire <laughs> well, that's content you never thought would bring do you know, I was actually, uh, I actually lived in London when this place opened and uh, I came to that, I came to that very first, uh, that very first night. It's changed a lot since then. You used to park on this back wall, but you don't anymore. Now you park inside. Well, you could park inside as well. Let's see what this chappy wants to say. Go right, mate. Okay, no worries, buddy. Up to the top, nearest to the left that I can. Not a problem. Awesome. So yeah, I mean, you could park in here, but it was um, sort of an elitist thing. And uh, now, now it's very much a, this is what they want. I think they've uh, started to appeal to a bit more of a cycling community as well, which I'm not angry about, just feel it's somewhat disappointed, but uh, I, c I can understand it. I can understand it, of course. So we've just had an absolutely lovely breakfast at the, uh, at the bike shed. Massive thank yous to, uh, massive thank you to Noob Biker who actually paid for my breakfast. What a, what a lovely chap, honestly, just so generous. And uh, he's tagging along for the uh, for the protest that we're going to today. Now, I haven't said much about that because I said I would say more about it when we were here in London, but we're on our way to it now. Um, and yes, I will explain a bit more about it when we're on the ride. 
However, at the moment, I just want to keep my wits about me, just want to focus a little bit more on the riding. I've got Noob Biker now, and in my opinion, in my opinion, he's, uh, he's a little bit of an expert, in my opinion. Uh, he wouldn't say so himself, very humble, very nice. But yes, I feel much more com uh, comfortable and confident now with him, <laughs> with him here with me in London. <laughs> So the protest is well and truly underway. Uh, it's a short, very, very, very short route. Um, we're just going around Hackney. The police officer is uh, letting us all go. Thank you so much. So I shall give him a thank you. But yes, as you heard from the speeches there, hopefully they're doing this simply because it's, uh, well, it needs to be done. You know, Hackney, uh, Hackney are trying to impose some absolute ludicrous charges, uh, up to £15,000 a year to park for motorcyclists, the exact same as cars. It's just not affordable. You know, we, we are in a, a crisis, uh, a living crisis, um, cost of living crisis, that's what I was trying to say. Um, and this, this is not, it's just not the time, it's not the place, and it's 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 the wrong it's the wrong target, you know. I think they said it there. Motorcycles are the solution, not the problem. They like to push all this data through, and they like to say about bikes congestion and uh, bikes pollution being uh, the same as, if not, sometimes in some cases, I've even seen them accuse it of being more than cars, and that's just not right. And it's so wrong. And if anyone who's been watching me since the very beginning of my channel know that I actually started off as a very politically, uh, politically based, political based channel regarding motorcycle uh, rights uh, with the whole ULES thing. Now ULES of course went ahead and it was the main reason I moved out of London because I just couldn't afford to pay the £12.50 daily charge if I entered the ULES zone, which at the time I was, on my 2001 Yamaha FZS 600 Phaser. So now they want to charge that if you have an older bike uh, or, you know, if you haven't been able to prove that it doesn't meet the minimal requirements. Um, and now they want to impose the parking charges here in, in Hackney. Now, Hackney is obviously a, a thriving place of London, a lot of work, a lot of commuting through here. Uh, it, it's just not going, it's, it's not, not right. It really isn't right. It will see people out of pocket. It will see people get off their bikes because they can't afford it they won't be able to justify it and in ultimate when you actually then look at that from a big picture that will reduce the number of motorcyclists people will give it up i do really like the action group's name save london uh, motorcycling because it does need saving at this rate and hopefully Hopefully this protest does what it's set out to do. Raise the awareness, <laughs> make some noise, 
and show Hackney Borough Council the error of their ways. I was about to say, he's close, eh? <laughs> Yes, this is what it's about, making some noise, they can't ignore us, they cannot ignore us. Impossible, I love that bike, <laughs> that's got an awesome sound to it. <laughs> is it okay or is it gone? Oh, okay. Oh, just because it's got hot. Just because it's got hot. Oh, wow. This is incredible. I can't tell what lap people are on. But we're going around this, uh, we're going around Hackney a few times. Just look at the absolute pandemonium chaos that has spread here. And that's, that's what we have to do. We have to raise the chaos. We have to raise the, the absolute craziness in order to get Hackney to listen to us. That noise. I fucking love it. I love it. There's not a more fitting image is there than that. The bikes, the hackney right up there. Nothing just suits that much more better than this exact moment. Let me use this opportunity to plug Save London Motorcycling. Go, uh, go check it out, Twitter. Uh, and all that good jazz. Uh, I'll leave links and of course and everything like that to the actual uh, petition. There was actually a petition. Um, I, I'm not sure whether it's still going or not, uh, but there was a petition. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's still going. Uh, drop it a signature. This is obviously the petition uh, to get Hackney uh, Borough Council to reverse their decision regarding motorcycle parking. Just to reiterate, guys, £15,000 a year to park a motorcycle. Where? Where do you get that number from? How do you base it? You know, where? I just don't, I don't understand it at all. Um, so, think of it what you will, and then act upon it. Staying silent does nothing. We see that in today's world. Being quiet and just letting the politicians get away with it time and time and time again. No, we've done enough of that. Right, I think that's going to be my last lap. It's been very, very, very enjoyable throwing it around and everything, but uh, my legs are cooking. It's getting very hot. The engine uh, temperature sensor has actually illuminated twice, but thankfully gone off when it's uh, cooled down, so I'm not too worried about that. My ABS. <laughs> <laughs> That is brilliant. Uh, my ABS sensor as well came on. Not sure what that was about. I think it's just the heat because my temperature gauge has been pretty much at the top for this entire ride. But hey ho, hopefully no damage done. And it's the uh, it's a small price to pay uh, for taking part in the protest here in Hackney. Uncle Red would really like that. He would really like that. Maybe not in that colour, although maybe he would like it in that colour. I don't know. Uncle Red, let me know if you'd like this gold wing. Oh, I like a boss. <laughs> There's a terrific turnout showing the support that this effort has and my misgivings about whether people came out for the right reasons or just because it's a nice sunny day have now been put aside. I'm going to ask everybody to put their hands together for the team and for Steve and, and let, 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 let's hope there's some success in this. Thank you.
So finally, let me just say a big thank you to Save London Motorcycle Inn for organising for organising the protest. A big thank you to all the guest speakers who did a wonderful job. A big thank you to every single person who showed up, made some noise, was seen, was heard. And of course, massive thank you to Noob Biker for the breakfast this morning. Uh, for overall just being an absolutely awesome guy, love chatting to him, had some really insightful conversation earlier, uh, conversations earlier, and uh, now he's been kind enough as well just to give me a little bit of an escort back to the motorway before I make the, uh, well, not too long of a journey back home to Milton Keynes. I'm sure the bike's looking forward to the motorway because, oh, she took a bit of a beating, took a bit of a beating here in London, but hey-ho, she has survived, bless her, good old Sprinty for the win. <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna stop rambling i'm gonna let you go thank you all so much for watching uh of course check it check the links in the description if you liked it why not drop it a thumbs up uh head over to instagram drop me a follow at the rhythmic biker and if you're not subscribed why not hit that subscribe button all right guys until the next time cheers <laughs>